I'm going to do a quick tutorial on creating a simulated stitch effect for spirit wear type sports design. Actually, I've got a comp set up here with the word spirit. We'll just use this for the sake of the tutorial. I also want to go over something else briefly here relating to marketing and the use of effects in your graphics. As you'll see in this tutorial, we'll be able to add this effect in Corel in a matter of minutes, which really, when you understand how to really use the full power of the Corel Draw Graphics Suite application, you'll be amazed at how quickly you can do simple effects. One of the things we've done over the years in our different art departments is when a client ordered, say, a white t-shirt with one color on it, if it was a simple design or something we could add some effects to quickly, we'd take just a minute, change the color of the garment, change the colors of the graphic, add maybe one or two effects to that, then send the client their original comp with the white shirt and one color, attach that an additional comp, which would be a comp of a different color shirt with some different colors in the design and say, to the client, by the way, here's your comp if you want to prove this, but we also have this other comp, a little bit different color shirt, one or two more colors, cost a little bit more money, but you can see how much better the shirt looks. We found that about 30% of the time, the clients would opt or increase their order to the color garment with the extra colors on the printing. Now, when you're setting up simple jobs on the press, two or three colors, if it's simple, not much to set up, but you upgrade or upsell 30% of your orders, you can see where that significantly going to affect your bottom line and in this economy it's these little things adding these little upsells to our orders and understanding how to really use our graphics application that's going to give us that competitive advantage in working with our clients working against our competition and obtaining our clients and of course upselling our clients and increasing our bottom line so go ahead and dive into our tutorial and I've actually got this blank with another color shirt we'll go back to this in a minute and demonstrate how we'd send this to the client as an upsell type comp. But I want to go ahead and start with creating the simulated stitch effect and that's really easy to do. Go ahead and take a look at this script that we've got set up here. Now there's a couple of issues in the script we want to deal with real quickly. If I go to view and wireframe I can see that I, mean, I missed that there. I want to go here wireframe. You can see we got some places where our text is overlapping and we want to deal with that. So what do we do to deal with that? Because we don't want our artistic effect following these lines into the font. So all we do is select, we'll go back to enhanced here, right click, select, convert the curves, right click again, break apart, or I could have used key commands. Now, a lot of times what you might need to do is just lasso everything and select combine. But if we do that and go to view wireframe, we'll see that we still have the overlapping here and that's not what we want. So what do we want to do? Well, we'll hit control Z and we'll go back. And what I'm going to do is I'll just select this area in the S here. I'll cut that. Then I'll select everything here and then simply do a weld. Now we can see we dealt with that issue. Paste that area of my S back in, hold down my shift key, select the rest of the text here, then select combine, combine and we are ready to go with our graphics. So we go back to view enhanced. As you can see here, now the next thing I want to do is I'm looking at this particular graphic and we'll probably use, let's say, a hot pink type color for the fill of the graphic. I'll create a duplicate of that over here to one side, left click, drag, right click one time. Then I want to create my stitch effect, very easy to do, create a simple rectangle, as you can see here. Then I'll go ahead and left click on the corner here, hold down and round those edges. Now, if you don't have enable node tracking turned on in options, and I'll show you that briefly here. We'll go to display from our options. I've got enable node tracking turned on by default, that's turned off in Corel Draw. If you don't have this on, you're your tool will not convert to your pick tool will not convert to a shape tool when you're going over nodes. You'll have to go over and grab your shape tool. So if you want to turn on node tracking, that's fine. Keep be, keep in mind that if you turn on node tracking, it might affect your work if you've got snapping enabled in draw. But I don't use snapping. So for our little stitch effect here, we'll go ahead and fill that with kind of like a hot red color, maybe, or we could have gone with a dark blue actually for this or some other color. I think for this particular design we'll go with a red color for that for now. Now I'll go ahead and resize this to about the size of a stitch I'd want on my graphic now exactly. Then all I have to do is go to Windows and Dockers. I've already got this open, Artistic Media. If you don't have that, go ahead and click on that, open it. Left click, drag this right into your default strokes as you can see here. Corel will ask you what you want to use this for this particular brush, and I'll actually select Object Sprayer. Select OK, I'll be able to name this Stitch, S-T-I-T-C-H, and we'll save that. Now if we scroll down here, we can see we've got our Stitch in our 
strokes here. Now, another thing you want to pay attention to is if you have any of these preset brushes turned off, you can't see them, but they're off this arrow here, turned off, then you won't be able to drag your stitch in here. So you want to make sure you've got all these turned on when you do that. Okay, next step, very simple. Left click on this in the docker, drag it into my workspace. You'll see that I get a hand for my cursor and release on the word spirit. Now, I lose my object, my not my object, but my fill there, but that's okay. Next thing I can see is I've got a whole bunch of little objects here, which are my stitch effects, kind of scattered across my lines here. If I go to View Wireframe, we have a very detailed look at what's going on. So obviously what I want to do, well, I want to make some adjustments here. So I'll go back to my Artistic Media tool. Now you notice right now I don't have the object selected, so if I go and change size, it doesn't impact it. Nothing changes. But however, if I go ahead and click and select my object, come up here to size of objects and bring those down as you can see right there now I've changed the size the next thing I want to do is I want to go here and go to rotation and select relative to path and click off of my workspace now you can see that my stitch effect is following my path and then I want to go ahead and change the dabs or the amount of space between my stitches and I went down to 48 there and you can see how that changed let's go back to view enhance and we'll be able to see this exactly bring this down to about five you can see now that's too close, that's too radical. I want to go up here to 13. Now I've got a nice stitch effect set up to go with my graphic. Now if I wanted to, I could have taken some time with these stitches, put some highlighting in there, maybe a couple of bands of color to make them look like threads or whatever. Now that I've got that set up, the next thing I want to do is simply right click on this. Actually I'll just hit Control K and that'll break that apart from my background. Now sometimes when you've got these selected that doesn't work, so if you click off, reselect, then hit Control K, that should bring that off of there, but it's not. So I'm going to lasso it, and then I'll go to Arrange and Break Apart Artistic Media Group or Control K, and now that time we got it. Corel likes you to select the object that is actually the artistic media effect when you hit Control K or try to break it apart. If you don't have it clicked on properly, the best thing to do is just go ahead and lasso everything, then hit Control K and break everything apart. Now, I'll bring my red outline here over on top of the other vector text I've got set up here and you can see that that's actually behind that so all I need to do is right click on the text go to order and select the back of page or I could hit control page down now once this is set up all I need to do is go ahead and lasso everything and I'll duplicate this over on top of my color T here and then I'll set this up like I was going to send it to the client now you can imagine the client receives two comps one that's a white shirt with black ink and then they've got this cool colored t-shirt that's got the text with a little bit of an effect in it and you can say to the client look this is an alternate it's going to cost you a little bit more but obviously your t-shirts are going to look a lot better and a lot of your clients as we found out about 30 percent will actually opt for the upsell if you present this to them and we set this up in a matter of what if you take out the narration I was able to set this up in maybe two or three minutes in Corel Draw. Now upselling 30 percent of our clients is obviously going to dramatically affect our bottom line. So, quick tutorial on using artistic media to create a simple stitch effect in Corel Draw, and hope you enjoy.